hello students welcome to this session of science and technology in this session we'll be discussing about previous year questions from science and technology as we know science and technology's weightage is increasing in prelims and hence it is becoming a game changer for most of the aspirants in order to prepare this subject in a good manner we should have the knowledge of previous year questions that upsc is asking so that we can keep ourselves on track so this session is dedicated towards the previous year questions of science and technology so before we discuss or analyze previous year questions it is important to understand how many questions are being asked from science and technology by upsc in its prelims examination so that will be helpful in order to understand the importance of science and technology so let us discuss the weightage of science and technology so you can see in this graph that upsc has asked almost 10 plus or on a, on an average we can say that on an average we can say that 12 questions are being asked by upsc since 2011 to 2020 right so almost 12 questions are being asked from science and technology right you can see in 2011 weightage was almost 19 questions then in 2012 weightage was 9 in 2013 14 questions 2014 16 questions 2015 8 questions and this is the minimum number of questions that are being asked by upsc in 2015's examination from science and technology thereafter weightage increased to 12 9 14 10 and 11 questions were asked by upsc in 2020's prelims examination so you can see that the weightage of science and technology has always remained high but what exactly are the topics from which upsc has asked questions so if we understand or if we try to understand the topics on which upsc has asked questions then the questions are primarily from questions are primarily from science and technology science and technology right and questions are also asked from general science so you must have seen syllabus of upsc upsc mentions about general science in its prelims syllabus but the weightage of science and technology especially in the recent past has increased in the prelims examination though this word is not mentioned in the syllabus so from where upsc must be asking these questions these questions that means questions from science and technology are being asked from current affairs right so what are the topics or what are the sub topics under science and technology from which questions are asked so questions are asked from space technology space technology questions are asked from biotechnology questions are asked from nanotechnology questions are also asked from it computers etc there are also questions from nuclear technology also some of the questions are there from defense technology and lastly we can say that even from cyber security questions are being asked right 
So under space technology, sorry, under science technology, questions are asked from space technology, biotechnology, nanotechnology, IT and computers, nuclear technology, defense technology, and cyber security. And if you if you analyze previous year questions, you will find that mostly these questions are from current affairs. Mostly these questions are from current affairs. Right? So that is about science and technology. And in recent past, that means after 2016, the weightage of science and technology has increased in the prelims examination. There are fewer questions 2016 onwards from general science. So what are the topics or what are the subtopics under general science? So primarily questions are asked from biology. Right? So primarily questions are asked from biology. Questions are also there from physics. But in physics, mostly focus is on astrophysics. Focus is mostly on astrophysics. And third subtopic under general science is chemistry. Though questions are less from the core aspects of chemistry, UPC has always asked questions from environmental chemistry. Environmental chemistry. Right? So, from general science, we know that under general science, there are three subtopics, biology, physics and chemistry. Biology has always remained important because UPC has asked questions from biology, we will see that how many questions are there from biology. If we take one recent example, then in 2020, there was question on comparison between plant and animal cell. That is from biology section. Right? So, biology has always remained important. Under physics, astrophysics has always remained important, especially the current aspects or the current affairs related to astrophysics. And lastly, under chemistry, it is environmental chemistry that has remained the focus of UPC. Right? So, that is the weightage of science and technology in the UPC's prelims examination. On an average, you can say 12 questions are asked from this particular topic. So, if we add environment and science and technology questions, then there are almost 25 to 27 questions from these two subjects and that's why we should not ignore these subjects. We should allocate sufficient amount of time for the study of these subjects as well. So now let us understand or let us analyze the previous year questions from 2011 to 2020 from science and technology. First question is from 20. 11. So, as you must be aware of, most of the questions from science and technology are current based because technology is ever evolving and hence most of the questions that we will be discussing, especially the questions from 2011 onwards till 2017-18, you may find those questions irrelevant or obsolete. Yes, that may be true, but we should have understanding of the technologies and the pattern on which UPSC is asking questions. And that's why though these technologies, though these terms are common these days, we should be able to understand what is the exact type of question or what is the information of a particular technology we should focus upon if it is in news right now. Fine. So though technology like Blu-ray disc and DVDs are obsolete, the way in which UPC has asked the question is important because that will help us 
to channelize our studies even now. Fine. So let us discuss the question. Question is a new optical disc format known as Blu-ray disc is becoming popular. In what way is it different from the traditional DVD? Fine. So we are supposed to find out the difference between Blu-ray disc and the traditional DVDs. First, DVD supports standard definition video while Blu-ray disc support high definition video. So this statement is correct statement because with Blu-ray the HD videos can be played, right? Second, compared to DVD, the Blu-ray disc format has several times more storage capacity. Yes, that is also true because Blu-ray disc have more storage capacity than the traditional DVDs. Next, thickness of Blu-ray disc is 2.4 mm while DVDs is 1.2 mm. So with respect to size, there is not much difference between the Blu-ray disc and DVDs. Fine. So based upon this discussion, the statements two, sorry, one and two are correct statements. So you can go through this particular discussion. So Blu-ray disc store digital data, including HD video while DVD support traditional or standard format video. A standard DVD holds 4.7 GB of data. On the other hand, Blu-ray disc can hold massive amount of data up to 50 GB. Next, both Blu-ray and DVDs look identical by naked eyes. So the size difference is not much. The disc diameter of both disc is 120 mm and it is it, uh, it also has the same thickness of 1.2 mm. So the third statement that was given in this question that Blu-ray disc have different thickness compared to DVDs in, is incorrect and hence answer of this question is answer of this question is B 1 and 2 fine so answer is B 1 and 2 because third statement is incorrect.